Hi everybody, so today we're going to look at how to make a, a kind of a movie poster, something like that. I don't suppose we'll get it all finished, but uh, let's make a start. Um, I've got a couple of images that I'm going to be using. Uh, one is this very colorful uh, cityscape of New York City, and another image that I've got is our good friend Tom Cruise. Now as you can see the image I've chosen of Tom Cruise is a little bit light and a little bit rubbish really but I'm going to use it anyway and I'm going to trust that Photoshop will help me to figure it all out. So the first thing I'm going to do is get Tom into the cityscape. So let's just restore down uh, that window and let's drag Tom into here. Boom. And there we go. Uh, he is very big, isn't he? I tell you, the reason that I chose this particular image of Tom is his kind of moody look. And look at the eye. I love that eye. That attracted me to the photo. So that's why I'm using it. And I am going to try and create a moody movie poster. So Control T, just to shrink him down. He's missing all his hair here, so I am going to cheat and just put him in the corner of my movie poster and uh, maybe just drag that down. I don't know if that's necessary. And there we have it. So what I need to do first on my Tom Cruise layer, and of course if I want to I can rename layers. If I just double click I call this Tom Cruise and layer 1 could of course be New York and that might help me to manage my project as I go along. So on my Tom Cruise layer I need to get rid of all this gray area. So what I'm going to do is find a selection tool. Selection tool. Well, I could use um, the rectangle marquee tool and select some of this stuff. Oop, not that. Just the gray area. And press delete on my keyboard. Boom. Control D. But I've still got all this stuff here to get rid of. I could, of course, use my eraser tool and just start to erase things. That's going to take a bit of time so I'm not going to do it that way. Notice how it's not clearly erasing. It's very slight, isn't it? Look at that. The reason for that is the flow of my eraser tool. There's the eraser tool. The flow is only 10%. So if I whack that up to 100%, it erases much better. But anyway, I'm not going to use the eraser tool. I'm going to use the magic wand. And when I click very quickly, I can select that whole area. Now, just while we're talking about the magic wand, I'm just going to show you one thing about it. When you select the magic wand tool, something called tolerance is activated. And if we make that number really small, like 1, and then use the tool, look what happens. Pretty much nothing is selected. Control D. Let's make that a really big number, like 200, if it'll let me. I don't know if it will let me. Wow. It selects the whole image. Everything is selected. Control D. Let's make it, oh, 20. Try again. Well, that's better. Most of it's selected. But if we zoom in with Control Plus, still some areas. That's not bad, actually. 20 is not bad. I'm just going to do Control D and just make it 35. One more time. Tolerance of 35. Okay, pretty much the same as 20. That's fine. I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard. Boom. Control D. So there we've got Tom. Oh, there's a little bit up there. Look. Let's just. Oh dear. Look at that. Let's just play with the tolerance again. We'll bring it down this time to 10. That's better. Delete. Control D. It's messy, but we'll leave it for now. Right. What I want is to turn Tom into some really dark, brooding, moody movie star. And the way I'm going to do that is by creating an adjustment layer for Tom Cruise. So I'm going to create a new fill or adjustment layer. It's this little button here at the bottom of your layers window. I'm going to mess around with levels. And as you can see, a new layer appears called Levels 1. This is my adjustment layer. So let's just play with some of the things that are available here in the Levels window. 
Do, 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 do. Look at Tom. Oh yeah, I like it. Woo, nope, too much. That's just about right. There's Tom, and I'm adjusting him using this adjustment layer. Great. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh no. It's also adjusting my city layer. Everything's being adjusted. I don't want that. I want my city layer to stay like that. I only want Tom to change, but the city's changing too. Well, look, this is how to deal with that situation. Focus on Tom, and we'll just get him like we want him. That's fine. Tom, you look great. Okay. Now, to stop this levels adjustment layer affecting everything, right click on it and turn it into a clipping mask. Now, that means that this levels adjustment layer is linked to the first layer under it, which is my Tom Cruise layer. Okay, so if I do Control Z, if I don't have that, my levels layer affects everything. It affects all layers. But if I right click Create Clipping Mask, it only affects Tom. Brilliant. Now let's go to New York, and I'm going to do a similar thing. I'm just going to uh, create an adjustment layer for my New York layer. Uh, let's go to black and white. So let's just have a look at what's happened in my layers window. I have a black and white adjustment layer on top of New York. So now we can start messing with New York. I really don't know what I'm doing because I don't have a lot of experience of these adjustment layers, but I enjoy messing with them. Oh, that's 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 what we're talking about. Woo! I like it. Oh yes, let's just put a bit of light in the sky there. Okay, that's it. I am happy. Brilliant. Now on top, I'm gonna go back to New York and I'm gonna try and see if I can make another adjustment layer. Can we have more than one? Let's go to I don't know. Hue saturation, I don't know. Now if I start messing with this, is it going to affect yes it does look. Oh. So I can have more than one adjustment layer that will affect a layer, if you see what I mean. Let's do okay on that. Looking funky. That looks great. Now then, I'm going to go up to Tom and I'm also going to play with uh, another adjustment layer for him. I'm going to do black and white as well and see if I can just mess around. Oh, there we go. We've already got it in black. Ah, it's looking good. Wow, look at that. Look how the eye changes if I mess with that slider. Okay. Any other ch oh, it's getting brighter and brighter, isn't it? It seems to affect the oh dear. No. Yes. Mm, nope. E e no. E yes, that's it. That's what we're looking for. No, 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 that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Brilliant. So so far we're doing pretty well with our movie poster. Now what I really want is Tom's eye here to still be that lovely blue that we saw before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off some of these adjustment layers for a minute. Okay, it's not blue, it's a green eye. And on the Tom Cruise layer I'm going to just use a lasso tool or some selection tool. You choose what you want to choose. I'm just going to cut out Tom's beautifully green eye and make a new layer with that. Now that layer, which is Tom's eye, I don't want it to be affected by these adjustment layers. So I'm going to drag it up above the adjustment layers. And can you see it's still got color, whereas everything else is black. So it's still got a bit of color to it. I'm just going to rename that Tom's eye. And <laughs> let's mess around with some adjustment layers. Um, let's go for exposure. What does exposure do? 
let's mess with exposure now look at that it's affecting all of my layers but don't panic focus on the eye and we'll we'll fix everything in a minute by creating a clipping mask so that's not bad I'm going to do OK with that on the eye and then turn this adjustment layer into a clipping mask and when I do that hopefully that will just affect Tom's eye so let's see if that works clipping mask yes look at that now then I'm gonna go to I'm gonna stay on Tom's eye in fact let's just stay on this clipping mask this adjustment layer can we do it again I don't know let's go to photo filter so again look photo filter isn't linked to the layer below it so everything's gonna change so let's just do that for a minute let's do OK and let's turn that one into a clipping mask will we get the same result yes we do look at that wow I was just messing around but that actually looks really good if I don't want it of course I can just turn it off if I really don't want it I can drag it into the trash can so really we're now looking at how to create uh, layer, uh, adjustment layers in Photoshop and and the power of turning an adjustment layer into a clipping mask if we only want it to affect one layer and not every layer so have a go and see what uh, effects you can make in Photoshop with that